Hello, this is not a spring chicken. One of the things that you can be certain of for now is that our market goes up on bad news. Take Greece, for example. Oh, that austerity program that they're voting on that they know that people already don't want? Why do they even bother? Hmm, good question. But you know what? Politics as usual. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Stand up, <laughs> <laughs> no, your belly's sticking out more stand up. <laughs> yeah. No, put your shirt down, because then you see your underwear sticking up. There, okay. And NBC apologizes for offending some people with their version of the Pledge of Allegiance. The only problem is, is they can't basically re refuse to understand what they did wrong. They won't even mention, uh, uh, you know, under God and indivisible. They won't even mention those words. Yeah. Well, first of all, you don't change the, the things because you don't, well, I guess they do, huh? Well, no, it's just they, um, the, the, the problem is, is they, it is separate, certainly, there, it's, their, it's their war on the middle uh, on middle America. They don't like the people out there and they're basically said this is what most of them, I even heard one of the people on the left said what happened with NBC just said F you and, and F you again and continue to F you because we don't care what you people think. Apparently. Yeah because they, they, they haven't got the message. The people at Comcast basically sh they said Comcast uh, should have started firing people immediately over what they did because they still as of this morning, they are still refusing to admit they did anything wrong. That it, this is, we may have offended some people inadvertently. May have. They didn't admit they did. They said they may have. Which meant they knew they, they were doing it. It was done intentionally. It was totally done intentionally. And Obama tells Jewish donors he strongly backs Israel. Okay. We have leapfrog Obama. He's trying to recess appointment of a person, of a person that advocates the, the uh, former that advocates for the Indian state in Israel and is an anti-Semitic individual. Other than that, I, you, I don't see how these people could be so stupid. Like I said, you believe he's pro-business as he's basically patent more legislation to crush businesses? He's trying to appoint a guy, in a woman in a research appointment that doesn't like the Jews. But he's pro-Israel. Yeah. They know he's not pro-Israel in Israel, though. Well, yeah. Well, and you would think the people here would get a clue. Uh, not the anti-Israeli people. They, they they don't understand the problem of pointing somebody that they, that you know that say slogans like death to Israel. Mm -hmm. And Obama safe school czar resigns, blames Fox News, but says they won by bringing gay rights to kindergartners. I know. They, what they, in the world? Kindergartners. I guy that believes in uh, uh, men, boy, sex. I think it was. He believes that uh, that, uh, get, that straight people are the sick individuals and blame Fox for his downfall because he said they did a vicious smear campaign. All they did was reported what he said. Oh, is that what happened? It was a vicious smear campaign. They reported what he said word for word and told, and, and told people about the books he'd written. I mean, the guy admitted he'd broken the law and after he got caught on breaking the law, he coerced, they said they coerced the an individual into changing what had been said to keep him from going to jail. That's the power of the government. But they finally had to get rid of him because they said to Obama, he's a political, all these people are political liabilities for the next election, which he is losing badly at the moment. And 44 killed in Russian passenger jet crash. No, that's normal. They don't fly Russian planes if you've got any brains. They don't build, they build great fighter planes, but don't, don't fly a passenger plane. And Obama preparing to turn Afghanistan over to the Taliban. I know. I mean, well, we're going to turn it over to the, the, the troop, you know, the Afghan government. At, at, we prepared them to handle the situation. No, they're talking to the Taliban about turning the country over to the Taliban. I mean, the, the guy, I mean, everybody's agreeing. You know, he comes on Wednesday night, there's going to be no cheers because if, if they, here's the way it goes. If one person is killed as a result of what he's doing in Afghanistan. They said that one guy said there won't be a rock that this guy can hide under anywhere in the world because they'll blame him for the deaths of the Americans. Really? Well, no, because he's got to put. Remember, the Taliban let 
Osama bin Laden stay in there and he launched his attacks from there and they're the ones that we're at war with also but mm -hmm. he's going to surrender to them though. An Asian gambling giant gets first foothold on U.S. terrain. Yeah, which is sort of ridiculous where and he, as Obama doesn't like gambling so he destroyed the industry in our country. But oh. what happened is is that he we owe the, the Chinese so much money that he's uh, Bending the rules to allow people to come in where there's not any gambling allowed. Well, you know, right? It's surprise, surprise. People shouldn't be surprised about that. Well, he doesn't care about laws. Laws are for other people, not for Obama. You know, an Obama campaign advisor, Axel Von Needles, GOP field. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it basically, I mean, this is ridiculous. It, 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 their Democrats are even admitting now that uh, anyone out there can beat Obama. Only the people that are running are the ones that, can, that can't beat him. But what happens is, is eventually they get pissed off enough and then anybody can beat Obama that's running. Mm -hmm. And there's the scary part because they're getting the idea that a person that wants to put their social, bring their social agenda is going to be uh, Next president of the United States on the right. I told people it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But they won't listen. And New York Senate stuck on gay marriage issue as rallies grow. Republicans aren't going to push it through. They had this weird idea that the, that, okay, the Republicans control the Senate and they needed four Senate, four Republican votes uh, from conservative Republican districts to approve gay marriage, make it legal in the state. For, you know, basically, what happens is so far is that. No legislatures have made gay marriage legal. The court systems have made gay marriage legal, and every time there's a vote, they lose gay marriage. I mean, there's, they've had 37 consecutive defeats in the voting booth. And the new battle over coal mining in West Virginia. Obama wants it stopped. Obama wants coal mining stopped. He wants nuclear power stopped. He wants uh, diesel stopped. You know, uh, you know, sooner or later, they're going to get the idea that this guy is anti anything that has to do with making our country work. And Obama admits that unemployment may not get back to the levels it was for at least for four more years. Yeah, that's after his second term is over. Term, term is over. Isn't that amazing? By the end of his next term, we will have it under control. Or midway through his next term. Yeah. And how far are we into it? Oh. We're into his third year now. The, the election campaign starts this uh, Fall. Oh, that's right. That's right. And thousands of Portland take the bikes for a naked ride. I know. They said they wish they wouldn't because nobody in shape ever actually takes their naked bike ride. You know, isn't that the truth? Everybody always gets all excited about it. They're like, yeah, but all the people that show up are all the people you don't want to see without their clothes on. I said I'd never seen a, a, a nude beach where there was anybody that was in shape but you on the beach. <laughs> And Obama admits he was fooled by Bush and the Republicans on just how bad the economy was when he took over as president. And, and you notice in the comments that Bush and the Republicans are responsible for everything that's happened this three years while Obama's been president. Mm -hmm. he, he's accepting no responsibility for anything other than the fact that Bush and the Republicans, Bush and the Republicans, Bush it wasn't in charge. The Republicans weren't in charge. The Democrats were running this country the first two years he was president. Uh huh. And Pentagon chief worries about part partisanship's impact. Well, because the Democrats want to cut the want to gut the budget. Or, uh, you know, the, okay. Here's how they're going to balance the budget. They're going to gut the got to gut the military budget, and they're going to raise taxes. The Republicans aren't going to allow it. So therefore, because of the Democrats partisan thing. The Democrats, when they get into the problem, always cut the military budget. Then it costs three times as much money when the next president comes in to fix all the damage that they've caused. Well, is that what happens? Well, they, they stop the programs. And when you stop the programs, they destroy all of the stuff that was stopped. So you have to start all over again because they're not allowed to keep the uh, half-built prototypes around. And Roman Gladiator's gravestone describes death by referee error. Yes, I suppose I read that thing. It said talking about how the fact that the referee stopped a match. The guy had been vanquished. He stopped the match and then let the guy get his weapons and, and kill the other guy. What? Yeah. They said, Do you say, can you say the fix was in back in the days of Rome? Mm. And Markle, debt crisis mustn't endanger the economy. Yeah, because the, basically her people are telling her they don't want any more money, any more of their money put out. 
And it is. She's a green freak, so she's got to stop nuclear power. She wants I'm to, surprised they, they haven't kicked her out of office yet. Well, they're they kicking can... the people out around her are all being tossed out of office because she's spending money like it's water. She wants to destroy the economy. They can't meet the rules, the, the rules that the European Union has set up on being green, and um, you know, which means the country will have to shut its factories down. And some Americans will work for 25 cents an hour experiment. Yeah, like they got it. You can't. It, How in the world? Because we're trying to. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, we're trying to take jobs back from the illegal aliens, and we're going to show you how little that they're working for. And an American won't work for the same amount of their money. No, the uh, illegals are not working for twenty-five cents an hour, folks. They're making yeah. like eight dollars an hour over at McDonald's. Yeah, and a Monty Bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, that. If any unnamed candidate can win the next election, then why aren't they running that unnamed candidate? 